everyone. Thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my Instagram supporters that have followed me onto YouTube. This reading is for the sign of Aries, sun, moon, and rising for the month of July 2018. Always remember general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force a message to apply. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. Let's get started, Aries. <clears throat> Aries for the month of July 2018. No. One more card, please. And abundance. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of that. The angels are saying no to something. A missed opportunity, perhaps? But you've got some abundance coming in. Remember, abundance doesn't have to just be about finances. No to moving hastily. No to, to moving in with anger. Aries, I know that you can be a little hard-headed, passionate, hot-blooded. You can get angry at times. Not all Aries, I know. But if you're thinking of manifesting some form of abundance in your life, know that this isn't always the right way to come in. Cool your jets. Calm your spirits. And approach things in a much more calmer way. In a way where things... Where things will move forward in your favor because you've worked for it not by intimidation you don't want intimidation why have something some form of intimidation come your way if you're going through a divorce or if there's an Aries going through a separation or a divorce and I say this because we've got the justice card and these two flew out so with the Ten of Cups and the Lover's card in reverse, there is a sense of instability. Maybe you're in a legal separation and you thought of, you know, getting back into the swing of things. You thought of, let's try to work something out. Let's try to get back together. Let's try to make this work. And there's too many different options that are being juggled here. Something has definitely ended. Why are you trying to go backwards? Are you going back to something that feels familiar? If you go back, you go back to instability. You know that you do. You know that this person is not a good person for you. Perhaps the whole situation in a whole, there's been damage done to this relationship that needs to be healed. Your part, their part, together as a whole. The universe is moving you forward in something big. Do what's right by you. If this is an Aries going through a divorce, you've contemplated going back to fix things to make this work. You have. Look at that. You've got four major arcanas and right in the middle is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles, which means you're undecided. You're juggling between this thought of, do I move forward in my life, go through this divorce, cut out this bullshit because it's got you so angry. It, it's making you go through life in such an aggressive way. You want to go through this ending, but it makes you feel angry and unstable and aggressive. And you want to just say, fuck this and move forward. And then you go through this moment, your low, because this is your high moment, but your low moment, Aries, in the quiet time, at night, when you're alone and you're overthinking things, and maybe you're thinking that you miss being part of that family unit, you miss when things were in a much better way, you want to go back to that stable home security home environment where you were in a loving relationship everything seemed perfect and you want to go back to that 
remember that what you will be going back to is something that has already ended. Allow this chapter in your life to end so that you can bring about this new abundance, this new beginning in your life. The universe is moving you forward to something much better. How do you go from the no to abundance, Aries? Don't come at somebody in an aggressive, angry way. Don't go about your life holding on to resentment, holding on to anger, being mad that this didn't work out, being mad at whatever somebody said to you. Let it go. Release yourself from it. You're moving forward in a much better way, in a much more balanced way. You have scales here, the scales of justice that will allow you to cut away what does not serve you, that will allow you to cut away the bullshit in your life, everything that's harmed you. Stop going back and forth with your past and your future. Every time you go back to the past, remind yourself what got you to this point. Something that happened that got you left feeling left out in the cold. Aries, when you speak, you speak in anger. And when you speak in anger, you say a lot of mean things. You turn into this devil. You turn into this frightening person. Because you want to be heard, you want to be recognized. There's a part of your past that you're not able to let go of. If this is you connected to a water sign, or this is you getting emotional after the fact if you have water in your placement, there, there is some toxicity that causes you, something from your past that causes you to become this person that almost as though people don't even recognize. You will find your mental clarity. You will finally see that, hey, going backwards is not the answer. It is time to release yourself from the past. It is time to recognize the past for what it was. Whatever lessons there were, take them and move forward. Whatever good you can take away from. Whatever bad that you can leave behind, learn from it. It's okay to feel emotional. It's okay to feel nostalgic. It's even okay to feel angry. Just be careful of how you release that anger. Because I bet it's a little scary to some people. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, now that you've realized the past is best left in the past, you realize that you can no longer be this Queen of Pentacles that you used to be where you were this mother, this head of household, this wife. Yes, you can. Come on, don't go from one end to another. Don't be so drastic. Don't be so dramatic, Aries. Yes, you can. Maybe not in this particular situation, no. But that's why we create a new future with the Wheel of Fortune in the world and the Judgment card. You are now creating a new future for yourself. If you were involved with a Virgo or you sought the help of a Virgo, Earth Sign Placement as well, someone who's older and wiser who you have been going to for advice. There's the world card again. 
there are cycles in your life that you are moving away from. Five of Wands, Two of Wands. You were struggling with this part of your life. You have been struggling with releasing a particular life cycle. This fighting isn't so much with other people. It's fighting to release one cycle of your life and move on to the next one. You're so resistant. With the two of wands, how do you go from the five to the two? Because you finally realized this fighting has done me no good. I'm fighting myself for what the universe has in store for me. The end, on to the new phase of my life. A new chapter emerges where you get a new opportunity, a new chance at something good. You have two options here, two choices, two relationships. I don't take, usually don't take so many cards, Aries, but I'm going to show them to you. If you have an offer coming in by an earth sign, perhaps, there is talk about a new offer. A new offer might be made, um, a new beginning, because I have it here with the Empress which does speak of giving birth to new ideas, new beginnings. There is hope for new beginning where your wishes will be fulfilled. Find your balance. Heal from it. Heal from what has left you feeling imbalanced. What is this abundance card about? Clarify, please. Page of Cups. Emotional abundance. <laughs> The judgment card again you will find abundance in this new beginning that you're about to embark it will be something that you're very passionate about it will be a new beginning where you feel as though it is something that you're going to love it takes you some time to feel optimistic about it but once you release yourself from the last from this last life cycle. It's like you get a do-over. Only it's a new chapter of your life. Don't be afraid of it. Don't run away from it. Because that Knight of Wands has a tendency to rush in and then rush right back out when they get scared and then they feel too guarded after putting in so much work into something if this is an opportunity at work be open to the new possibilities that are offered to you a promotion maybe you graduate and you have an opportunity to start wow look at that the same two cards okay there you go so the minute you release yourself from whatever you've been guarding yourself from, release yourself from this life cycle that you've been afraid to release yourself from, let go just enough, just enough, where you feel comfortable enough to heal from it, find your balance, find your hope, because with the Empress card here, the Judgment card, there is hope for rebirth, renewal. You are resurrecting yourself into this new person. You don't need to be this angry, angry, passionate person where you feel like the only way someone will listen to me is if I yell, if I stomp, if I, you know, throw a tantrum. How else will someone get your attention? There is a difference between negative and positive attention. Heal from what's been weighing you down, that's been stopping you from moving forward from the next phase of your life. Take some time to really consider this new opportunity in job, in partnership, in love. You are about to embark on a new life cycle. And it's gonna be amazing. Two of Cups. Absolutely. You have new you have new partnerships coming in. New partnership, new partner in love, in business. 
at work. Maybe there's a new employee that comes in and you guys hit it off and you've got a new friendship. There might be something that they teach you that you thought maybe I'm, you know, I'm so good at my job, I'm just stuck here. I can't possibly learn anything new. Be open to learning something new. Be open to receiving. And be open to giving as well. Aries, this has been your reading for the month of July 2018. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my email in the description box below, virgoangeltarot at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe as I'll be uploading more videos shortly. So you can also find me on Instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot where I upload daily, uh, daily posts and I do weekly live readings. So please like, share, and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye Aries.